All right, geeks, thanks for checking this out. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Check for our giveaway list. We have a lot of legends to give away, and you want to make sure that you're a part of it. Who doesn't like free stuff? Age of Apocalypse, Weapon X, let's go. Alright, what's up geeks? We're here with Weapon X from the Age of Apocalypse Wave, building that Sugar Man bath. Here you see him in the box. Not a lot of accessories, actually barely any accessories. He has the uh, retracted claw cuff for the left hand that's been cut off, and you got the bath leg and that's it. You have that crazy cartoon art that we saw on the last box with Wild Child. I really dig that. It's tight work. On the back of the box you got the bath. The whole wave. Nice picture of Weapon X up there. Armed with adamantium claws and superhuman healing abilities, Weapon X joins the battle against Apocalypse. Deep. Here he is in his cage. Alright, so we got Sugar Man's leg, his left leg. Nice and stubby. Looks like he's got on stocking. And we've got the retracted claw piece for his left hand that's been chopped off. All right, so here he is in all his glory. Looking pretty good. Uh, paint job looks decent. I'm seeing one blemish on the front, nothing else. All right, so mine has red paint right here. So this paint is bleeding off onto his shoulder. I don't know if you can see it. Paint here is shinier than it is on his chest, but it still looks good. Body is a matte finish. More red bleeding back here. But other than that, it looks good. You see he's got this one strand here. It's a nice little touch. Hair flaring out. Hair flaring up in the back. Yellow belt does move a little bit. You can probably get it off if you want to slide it over the legs. Get it up. Just pull it down. Looks good. Looks pretty good. Uh. Alright, his head is crazy loose. Spins around fast. Get a lot of movement on there. Head is huge. Peg is really small. You can look under there. Hey, that's the angle. There you go. See how little that peg is compared to his head? Alright, so there's his head looking straight forward from the side. A man coming at ya. There's the head tilted back as far as it can go. Looks like he's strained to go number two. That's his head looking down. You can see from this angle, the head does not go down very much. The range there is missing. The range is definitely not there. All right, so his arms go perfectly parallel with his shoulders. I tried to click them higher, but that's high as they go. But I mean, that's good enough for Wolverine. You get your full 360 at the shoulder joint. Put that down. Bicep full 360. Double jointed elbow with crazy range. If you can see here, I lift his chin up just to show you how far the range goes. His claws are actually up under his chin, touching the peg. That's insane. Loving that. Good job, Hasbro. 
And here's the other arm at what should be a 90 degree angle. Let me straighten this out a little bit. There you go. So most figures, you'd be lucky to get it uh, going straight up down here, lean back a little bit, but you can see that his arm is actually pointing back. So you get a steep, steep range there. Now he does have the butterfly chest joints, but the range is limited, especially on this one. If you look here, I try and push that in, it barely moves. You're getting like a millimeter of movement there. Maybe I can loosen it up a little bit. This one you get a little bit more, so there's hope. You see it just kind of clicked into his chest. Now if I open it back up, you'll see it move out. So you get much more range there. So this one just probably needs to be loosened up. I would hope. Good range in the butterfly joints in the back. You can see that his arms are going way back. All right, let's check out the abdominal range. This is with the abdomen. This was an abdominal crunch joint going straight up. And that's him with one giant click forward. So only one click, but it's a huge click. Good range on the bend over there. You can pick up anything he drops on the floor. You get the 360 degree waist swivel. Look at the legs. Yep, thigh. No, oh, nice and loose. Good, didn't have to fuss with it. That one's a little bit tougher, but not too bad. It loosened up as I turned it around. Just like his arms, got the double jointed knees. Got really good range on him. He's pretty close to a self booty kick. Foot's on a rocker, a little bit stiff. Oh, click. Point straight down, parallel to the ground. Well, actually, no, not parallel to the ground. <laughs> See what this foot does. How far? Oh, yeah. Got really good range there. I know we're looking at his feet, but I forgot to mention knee joints feel really good. They got a nice, smooth, soft click to them. Well done. And there's his split range. Nice and wide. Um, even his inner thigh joints where he splits feels really good. I don't know what it is about this figure, but all the joint movements feel really good. Let's get a close-up of this face. That's a nice face sculpt, man. Look at that grit. He's straight grimacing. Like the nose, the way he's snarling, the teeth, and again, that one hair in the front does it. But his hair is flared out a lot more exaggerated from the mainstream Wolverine uh, to accentuate his feral nature. That's kind of awesome. That's a lot of hair, man. And on his biceps, you got the usual Wolverine hair just kind of thrown on there. But he looks good. Here he is with a couple of his namesakes. I guess you can call this Enter the Wolveyverse. You can see height comparison, he's about the same height. He might be a little bit shorter than the Logan in the back, a little bit taller than Wolverine on the right, but he's right in scale. And here he is, Sans left claw. Alright geeks, so what do you think? You grabbing this one up, or is this one too many Wolverines? Do you like him? I like him. Like I said, paint job's good, articulation's good, head sculpt is good. What's one more Wolverine in your collection? All right, sound off in the comments, let me know. Make sure you check out our giveaway playlist. We got some milestone giveaways coming up. 
We'll do some random giveaways too, so make sure you're following us on Instagram. Please like and subscribe. We're almost at a thousand subscribers. That's where the fun starts, guys. Spread the word. Put us out on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, wherever you know other geeks are. Appreciate all the love and support. This is Fanboy Destroyer. Geek out.